Back in the kitchen today, you're gonna make some sweet and tangy apple barbecued pork. So have you ever just been in the mood for pork and it's only you at home and you just don't, you don't wanna go out and buy it, you just rather make it at home or you love pork, barbecued pork on your baked potato, that's what we're gonna to do today. We're gonna to do it in a crock pot and it's gonna be easy and it'll be done in five hours. All right, stay tuned. Okay, here we go. So the first ingredient is gonna be one fourth cup of ketchup. And to that, we're gonna add an equal amount of water. So it'll be one fourth cup of ketchup and one fourth cup of water. Then we're gonna add our unsweetened applesauce. It's four ounces or half a cup. If you have it in a jar, just use a half a cup. Okay, we need one tablespoon of brown sugar to go in here and just like that. And then we'll add one tablespoon of molasses. And you wanna get every drop of that molasses out of that measuring tablespoon. That adds a lot of flavor. And then we have some hickory smoke here. And we're gonna add one tablespoon of hickory smoke to this as well. Now we're gonna start on our teaspoon and we're gonna put one teaspoon of smoked paprika. Smoked paprika definitely will give it a more uh, smoky in depth flavor. Now we're gonna add one teaspoon of onion powder. Okay, next we'll do one teaspoon of chili powder. Now I have chili powder that's called hot chili powder or regular chili powder. Today I'm just using the regular chili powder, but you feel free if you like that hot chili powder, you use it. Now we're gonna do a half of a teaspoon of ground mustard. Now it's time for the half a teaspoon of garlic. In this bowl I have one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Add one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. That is a tongue twister because, you know, unfortunately we all in our house says Worcester. I don't know why. So I have to stop and say it very slow to get it correctly. Now, if you like some heat the way our family does, feel free to add cayenne pepper, or you can add red pepper flakes. You can add any kind of heat that you would like to this. And I'm going to add 1 4th teaspoon of cayenne pepper. I think that'd be fine for our family. And then when we eat it, we always put hot sauce on top of it. So it's gonna get more hot sauce in our family. Okay, and so all we're gonna do is just put in there, that right in that container, mix it up a little bit. And I didn't trim the country uh, spare ribs. Um, one of them had a bone in it, so I took the bone out. I cut around the bone. Um, but um, I didn't take any of the fat or anything out because fat adds a lot, a lot of flavor when you're talking about uh, uh, barbecue and pulled pork. Okay, so this is ready to go. I'm gonna set it to, I'm gonna set it to cook at uh, five hours on high. If you, if you need it to go eight hours, put it on low, go eight hours, it'll be just fine. If you're able to stir it halfway through, stir it halfway through. It doesn't matter. This this recipe is fine. You can just do low on eight hours or high on five, okay? And I'll be back with it plated. Yum. Look at that yummy meal. We decided to have baked potatoes with the barbecued pork. Oh, it's so good. Oh, y'all gotta try this. Very yummy. Mm -hmm.